Okay, well, moving on now. A girl's night out can be such a blast, and so can a girl's night in. I know we had a little girl's night out the other night. Yes, we did. But when the ladies are over, you don't want to spend the whole night in the kitchen. So here with some simple recipes for a perfect party are two great friends. Antigone Sander from Cafe 421 and Amy James from K102. Yay, hello, hi, hi. This is really <sighs> fun because these two are actually very, very good friends in real life. In yes. real life. Not yes. just behind on the TV <laughs> No, this is real. And, uh, and you guys actually do this. I know Antigone said one time to me, you've got to meet my friend Amy. Let's, ha let's have a girl's night in. And we still haven't gotten to it. <laughs> So now we gotta get the recipe. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes. All right, of course. Check it. So what are we starting with, Antigone? We're starting with something really simple. My idea of a girl's night in is things that are, one, hypothetically figure friendly. So we've got like lots of vegetables. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, because yes. we've got cheese and oil and stuff like that. But things that are fresh too and things that you don't have to stress out about too much. So the first thing is a bruschetta. And it sounds very sort of like something I only get when I go to a restaurant. It's tomatoes fresh basil, garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper. So you make this ahead of time, let it sit in the fridge? Yeah, for a couple of hours. You can make it the day before if you want. It does start to get a little mushy mm -hmm. if you do it too far in advance. So I like to do it that day. And a nice tip is you can cut the tomatoes over a strainer so they do lose some of that liquid oh, so it doesn't get too watery. So, and then the fun part with that is you can grill your bread, get a nice baguette or any crusty bread you like, take it, slice it, rub it with a garlic clove, and then just drizzle it with olive oil and mm -hmm. put Put it on a medium hot pan oh, or on the actual grill and you get some nice toasty grill marks. Can Hand you it say bruschetta? We talked about, can you say bruschetta or do you have to say bruschetta? You know, I'm not Italian, so I'll pass it on. You, I'm okay with it's bruschetta, but I think it is uh, bruschetta. Okay, okay. Are you ready? <laughs> we gotta give it okay. a try. Give it a uh -huh. nibble. This is a big old bite. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth will drop it. Oh, That's no. usually what oh. she does. <laughs> I drop food everywhere. The worst part is I have to talk next about the wontons. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yummy, garlicky. It's delicious. It's and wonderful. super fresh, yeah. Super mm. fresh, and if you have basil, mm that maybe you put out in a little herb pot, mm -hmm. this is the time to use it. Oh my gosh, that's good. All right, herb Amy pot. James, have you swallowed? Are you good to go? Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. All, All right, right. so it. up next, these we actually had. My mother-in-law threw Antigone uh, her bridal shower. Oh. And Marilyn made these, and I said, Oh, I have to get the recipe for it. She said, it's so easy. And I'd like to say that I slaved all day on Sunday <laughs> getting this all ready. We it's, appreciate that. It took me like 10 minutes. It was, it was really easy. Yeah. Super easy. Yeah, really easy. So it's it's uh, basically just your, your artichoke dip on the, it's got the mayo, it's got uh, Parmesan cheese, it's got uh, green onions. And then you just get a can of artichoke hearts, you chop those, you put in a little garlic powder, a little beaumont, and uh, that's, that's You it. make it sound mm -hmm. so fancy. Yeah, so, it is. Okay, yeah. so it turns out just like this, It right? looks like that, yep. Yeah, this is like the artichoke dip. Mm -hmm. Yep. And and this is the filling for your little wontons. That's right, and I'm, you know what? I'm going to let you just fill that. Just put a little, right little bit in there. I may have spilled a couple tomatoes oh, in the wontons. Nothing wrong with the tomato it and artichoke. It might be good. Oh, my gosh. I'm surprised. So <laughs> wonderful. I love how you're using this little tiny muffin tin. And then you just put the you put the wonton wrappers in there? And yep. then you have a good tip to seal them, Amy. That's right. You can either use, I used a little bit of water when I was making these. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you can crack an egg and just do the egg whites, and that'll make it close really nicely for just you. Just seal around the edges and pinch them together So how do you, bit. what do you do? Like, just kind of smush, oh, yep, these yep, are getting kinda, a little dry, but well, yeah. yeah, they've been in there for a little while. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, smush them together, and then you yeah. just and throw you them in the, in the oven. oven for yeah. 10 minutes, and you don't put any extra oil or fat in them, and they just pop out, and you come up with those, and they're so simple. Okay, now we, get to try yes, yeah, now we can try those. There we go. Because who needs handy. more fat when you already mm. have mayo and cheese? No, but that you can. Mayo and cheese are two of my favorite words. But you can <laughs> totally use fat-free mayo in this, too, mm -hmm. if you want to, and that eliminates a lot of the bad stuff. Yep. Oh. Right, well, those are, are they delicious? delicious. I did use light mayo. People have been, everyone from the shower has been telling me, like, give me Marilyn's email address. I need that recipe. So everyone oh, has it now. Now Here just go. go to our website to get it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those are really good, Amy. Really and what a fun little finger food. Mm -hmm. You feel you like fancy serving that. Yeah, yeah very, exactly. very good. Marilyn. Okay, Thanks. we're getting a more, even more fancy with a little tasty tomato treat, huh? Sure. It's really fun to use something in its natural form to fill up with something else. So we have hummus. There's a recipe on the website for hummus, or you can buy it at the store, mm -hmm. or you can buy already herbed cream cheese or make your own. And then a nice little tip is to take a zipper bag like this and fill it with your filling, and then cut off the top of the tomato and hollow it out a little bit. Can so you explain you, hollowing? Yeah, I'm sorry. Do you oh, use a little? Sure. That's what I was so just going to ask Amy. Yeah. Thank you for asking the same <laughs> question. Because I would not know I'd be, sure. it would be bad. Just use a paring knife, one of the 
little knives in your kitchen set, slice off the top, and just kind of cut around. So this is a butter knife, but you just cut around like that a little bit. Okay. So okay. like you're carving a pumpkin, basically. Mm -hmm. And then dig the insides out, and then you have a little tomato shell. So when we do this, you guys, you guys be the hollow router, <laughs> and I will be the filler. That's <laughs> like we're getting we the can do end of the that. job That's on fine. that. For some reason. Decided. Okay, so yeah. we have some here. So you want us to fill some hummus yeah, ones? Yeah, so just give it a gentle squeeze. All right. And you can use the knife to lop <laughs> off the top. Oh, man. And oh, it looks it's like a little easier than trying to mess with like a little spoon because they're so tiny. Yeah, and you just did oh. a little, made a little yeah. piping bag. Isn't gonna, that cute? And then I it's just a whole it. bite, right? And it's one whole bite. Do you want to try just this? Yeah. It in? Mm -hmm. Go for it. Mm. Okay. Awesome. Mm. And now talk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, that is so. Mm -hmm. That is a really good treat. Isn't that nice? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I mm. feel like you could be really creative with any filling that you wanted to put in there, like bacon. Totally. <laughs> For bacon, instance. the little piece of bacon like it sprinkled you, on mm -hmm. top, though, too, mm -hmm. would be so tasty. And other vegetables that you can use to fill with the yep. fillings. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so you've got these lovely little fresh treats, this classic combination, too, of cantaloupe and prosciutto. So yes. what are you doing with these? This is super classic Italian summer fare. And we have a cantaloupe that we've sliced into spears, yep. and then some prosciutto that we've sliced into strips. And this is about as easy as it gets. Yeah. You take it and wrap it. I'm going to help wrap. And that's it. It's kind of like pickles and cream cheese wrapped in a piece of ham. All right. But it's prosciutto this. and a cantaloupe. And this yeah. is a yeah. very good. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. This is yep. really good. Okay, yeah. and then we got to get to the sangria mm -hmm. because you, Amy, yes. are a huge fan of the sangria. It's so easy to make. It mm -hmm. only has a few uh, items. We've got a, a cup of vodka you start out with. Oh then God. you can go really cheap on the wine. You can do... Uh, a Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Blanc, uh, you pour a bottle of that into a pitcher, then take an entire can of uh, the pink lemonade, Here's your okay. pink mm -hmm. lemonade, and yep. dump that in, stir it, then right before you serve it, you want to just pour it in glasses, put a little bit of ginger ale, I do fat free or diet so that Fine, you don't yeah. have to add any extra calories, Okay. dump a little of that on top, if you don't do it, it is going to be boozy, and then you can uh, garnish it with some fresh lemons and some fresh raspberries, and every time I've ever made this, people just freak out, that's so good. All right, pass All right, it down, guys. we're going to do a you. girls night in, mm. cheers. I this don't know if this has any ginger ale on top. Just so you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So be careful, ladies. Cheers. All right, cheers. Yes. Let's try this. Yeah, that is Yum. tasty. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's. Who needs ginger ale? Can you imagine Yum. drinking yeah. a little too many of these? Yes, yes, yes I can. <laughs> be responsible. Yeah. Have Never a girls' have. night in, and then have a slumber party with your girlfriends yes. and enjoy a yes. cocktail. <laughs> that was fantastic. Thanks so much, girls. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for the hangout. And we have all these recipes on the Eat page of our website. You can just go to ksdp.com and click on Twin Cities Live, so you don't have to email Marilyn. You can just get the recipe <laughs> for the little wontons right there. Can you please leave all these? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs>